Hello everybody. This is my second video on the Cocoa Pie 3. Um, it's a continuation of videos that I will be doing um, over the next few weeks, just kind of talking about different aspects of the project. Um, in my first one, which was just released a couple weeks ago, I kind of just introduced people to it, how to get initially set up by downloading the ROM images, things of that nature. Um, with this second video, what I'd like to do is show people how to work with disk images in the emulators. Um, mainly how to access them, how to mount them, how to use them. And there's, pri there's two primary ways to do that. One is to use the built-in interface of the emulators themselves. And then the second way um, is use a product like DriveWire or PyDriveWire. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just kind of go over how to, how to use the built-in emulator functions for grabbing disk images, working with them, and then we'll go into the, uh, the DriveWire options. So with that being said, I'm at the main menu of Cocoa Pie 3. This is the basic menu uh, with, with limited options. And we did that on purpose just to not overwhelm folks that are first starting to use, um, to use this product. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into the Tandy uh, Color Computer 3 option, which is just work with Disk Extended Color Basic. There's no drive wire functionality um, as part of this menu option. And when I go in, if I do a DIR, um, I, ha I don't have any disk images mounted. We should get the standard error that you would see if you don't have a floppy drive loaded. So what we're going to do, since this is MAME, is we're going to bring up MAME's uh, internal user interface. And that, by default, is just accessed by using the tab key. From here, we're going to go to File Manager. And we're going to work with Disk 1, uh, which is actually Drive 0 in the Coco. And I'm going to hit enter on that. Now, <clears throat> what you'll see is basically an internal um, file browser. And these files are actually on the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hit the top option here, which brings me up to the root of the file system. And on every Cocoa Pie 3 distro, you're going to have a folder called Media. And then you're going to have a folder called Share One. By the way, this folder, Media Share One, is also available um, via Windows File Sharing or Samba. You can actually access this um, from a, uh, another machine on your network. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and show you guys that. If I enable uh, a quick web browser, I'm going to go ahead and access the Raspberry Pi uh, through its Windows File Share. Now, let me actually flip back to the Raspberry Pi. There is one other thing I needed to show you. Um, in fact, let me back out of this completely. I kind of skipped this and I shouldn't have. If you go to the utilities menu, the very first option is system status. Now, in the first video, I showed everybody how to access the, um, the Wi-Fi settings. And this menu will show you what your current IP address is if you are on a network. Um, in this particular screen, you can see that I'm connected to 192.168.0.78. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the Windows File Manager again. And I'm going to go ahead and access, I'm going to access that, um, that IP address. So 168.0.78. And if I hit OK on that, you can see there's a couple shares. There's a Homes and there's a Share 1. If I click on Share 1, it's asking for credentials. Now, on this machine, or on the Cocoa Pie 3, the default user is Pi, and the default password is Raspberry. And these folders are in the Media Share 1 on the Raspberry Pi. Um, you can see there's quite a few here. There's one under EMU. In fact, Paul, I have one for Paul Thayer. He wrote a nice little utility called 64 Colors, and I think that's what we're going to work with. But if you had your own disk images, you could certainly copy those to this share. That's what this is for, for bringing files over or even copying from it. Either way, it's a very simple way to get files onto your Raspberry Pi. So with that said, let's go ahead and go back to the Raspberry Pi. So from here, I'm going to go back to the main menu, and I'm going to go back under the Color Computer 3. And once again, I'm going to hit Tab to bring up MAME's user interface. And I'm going to go down to File Manager. And from here, I'm going to go to Floppy Disk 1. And I'm going to browse to that same Media Share 1. So Root File System, 
media, share one, EMU, and you'll see Paul Thayer's folder right there. And there's the disk image. I'm just going to simply hit enter on that. Now it's asking me if I want to mount that as read only or read write. <clears throat> if you don't intend on doing any writing, I guess the safe option would be read only. I'm going to select read write anyway because that's how a real floppy would be unless you have a write protect tab on it. And it lets, lets me know at the bottom that it had mounted that disk image. So from here, you can either hit escape twice or you can just simply go down to the return to main menu and then finally return to machine options. If I do a DIR, you will now see that that disk image is mounted and that's the file on it. I'm going to go ahead and load it. Oops. Go ahead and load this and run it so you can kind of see how it works. And MAME is emulating the floppy drive just fine. So from here I do an EXEC and there's the utility that Paul wrote. Very cool. 64 colors. Looks good on here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the emulator now. And now what I want to do is show you how to access um, the same image, but using the built-in DriveWire server, or actually PyDriveWire. Uh, Michael Furman, the author of PyDriveWire, wrote a replacement of the normal DriveWire server that was Java-based. His is Python-based. Uh, it's very easy to use, nice web interface. Um, I'll provide some uh, links in the, uh, the notes here under the video for how to access Michael's site. You can read the documentation on it. Um, my video is going to be short and just kind of show you how to access uh, PyDriveWire and how to change disk images. What we have to do before we do it, though, is we need to go under Utilities, and we need to select the Advanced menu, Option 25. All right, and once you're in there, you want to select Option 1. The reason for that is, is by default, again, on the simple menu, I don't want to overwhelm folks, but on the Advanced menu, you can now see that there's quite a few more options. If I go under the Tandy Color Computer 3, you'll see the same disk extended color basic, which would just be using MAME's internal UI, but then you also see stuff like HDB DOS. You need to be running either HDB DOS, RGB DOS, or even uh, Brett Gordon's uh, YDOS in order to access DriveWire. I am going to go ahead and um, work with the Tandy uh, Color Computer 3 HDB DOS. Before we enter that, I am going to go back to the Utilities menu, and I'm going to go back to System Status, and I want to show you something else that's very important. If you notice down here, uh, where it says Use URL, you will see that there's a address that you can put into a web browser to manage your Pi DriveWire server. In this particular case, it's still the uh, 192.168.0.78, port 6800. If I bring up the web browser, you will see that I've already loaded that URL in here, the 192.168.0.78, and you will see that by default, it actually has a disk image mounted, and that's um, Michael Furman's uh, DW term, which is a great program. Without doing anything else, I'm going to go ahead and load up um, the Tandy Color Computer 3 with HDB DOS, and by default then, you sh we should see that this disk image is mounted and available. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. Going back to the main menu, I'm going to go under Tandy Color Computer 3, and I'm going to take the Tandy Color Computer 3 with HDB DOS. And when I go in there, you'll see that HDB DOS is loaded. If I do a DIR, you will see DW term is indeed there. Now, <clears throat> without doing anything else in the Coco 3, what I'm going to do is bring up that Firefox web browser again. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for a new disk image to mount. Um, in this particular case, I am going to browse to the CocoPi, or I could even pick one off the local file system. That's what's really cool. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, the share on the, the share on the Pi Drive wire, or actually the CocoPi 3 here. So let's see, 192.168. 7, 8, it's going to bring up the shares. I'm going to go under EMU, Paul Thayer, and I'm going to pick that. And you will see now that <clears throat> it mounted that disk image. Now, you'll also notice that it's looking at a temp folder. That's because I'm working off my Windows machine. And what's really nice about Michael's Pi Drive Wire is not only can you mount disk images off your whatever computer you're on, 
but you can also pull it um, off the Coco Pi 3 itself and it will copy it to that device into the temp folder. Once I've browsed for it, I hit insert and it should now be available. So when I come back to MAME and I do a DIR, in fact, let me back up. I was using the wrong keyboard as you can see. You will see Paul Thayer's uh, disk image is now mounted and I can do the same load on like we did. It's much faster, by the way, than MAME's internal um, disk uh, I.O. because when you do it in MAME with the internal menu, it's trying to emulate the actual speed of the of the drive itself. When you use Pi DriveWire, it's basically just as fast as the network connection is. And from here, I can hit Execute, and there you go. Same program. So let me go ahead and hit Escape. And you can do the same thing with any one of these options, again, that uses HDB DOS, YDOS, RGB DOS. Let me go back to uh, return to main menu. Uh, I can go to the Coco 2 menu, and I can pick the Coco 2 HDB DOS. Now, I will tell you that Paul's program is not compatible with a Color Computer 2, but you will see the disk image is still mounted. It's right there very very easy to use. Let me get out of this and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go now to the XOR menu, Color Computer 2 XOR. If you take the HDB DOS option it's going to load up XOR. HDB DOS, if I do DIR you will see the same disk mounted there. So in some cases using Pi DriveWire is maybe even a little easier than using um, the internal menus for MAME or even XROAR. I hope this uh, this video uh, was informational. I'm going to continue uh, putting these out as I get time. And again, thank you uh, very much.